be less. It'll just become like the flu, right? I think that's, at least from what I'm seeing, that's what I see. Hi, good morning there, folks, out there in, uh, in the real world land. Uh, Elizabeth is here with us today. So we're, we're starting to have some people, some people again, and we're officially not open. She's a teacher, teaches, so, so we're technically not open yet. However, we can be open um, next week, we think, at 10% occupancy. So we can get a whopping four people in here, which is great. We have people, that's be- some people is better than no people, <laughs> in my opinion. But anyway, here we are. If you're just new and you're just watching this for the first time, we do these on a donation basis, so you can feel free to donate uh, for your class, which would be fantastic. You could Venmo me directly, which all goes to the business. This is Five Point Yoga, the yoga studio in Malibu. If you go to that website and scroll down a little bit, you could pay for your class, send a donation, or uh, use Venmo. And uh, today is Friday, so we could just do a nice little kind of well-rounded flow, and I thought we'd go a little bit towards standing balance poses. So let's go ahead and start with the feet shoulder distance. Bring the palms together, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, start breathing. In and out of the nose, let the shoulders drop down, let the top of the head float up. Take a moment here, set your intention, intention to release some stress, to heal, to strengthen, whatever it is for you that feels right. Good, and then drop the head down to your left side, easy neck stretch. And then switch sides. Find your breath, good smooth, even breaths in and out of the nose. then drop the arms make a few circles of the head one direction good and then opposite direction yes I think moving forward what I'm going to do is I'll stream live stream like Facebook YouTube like the where this is going now Mondays and Fridays and back to the center, shoulder rolls. So still that's kind of, people can, you know, still do yoga if they want to do yoga from anywhere. And then all the other classes, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, at least for me, my classes, opposite direction. I'll do either here um, or, and or do the Zoom for the members. Because like yesterday I had class and I had Nobody from L.A. I had Malibu, New York, North Carolina. (laughs) I mean, I'm sorry. Portland, New York, North Carolina. Arms up. Interlace the fingertips. Turn the palms up. Stretch. Breathing. Yeah, so for classes going forward, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I mean, it's not like I'm going to open up full and all of a sudden have, you know, seven teachers again and you know two students it doesn't make any sense for me to pay staff or teachers you know what i mean go ahead and fold over to one side stretch and nobody's going to come and rent the space knowing they are only allowed to have two people in here three or four people right but it does look like if things continue the way they're continuing by summertime we should be able to be back and then the next question is how comfortable are people going to feel coming back? Because I still think people, I think vaccinated people are going to be fine, you know, but I think the, the non-vaccinated people. That's right. And so I think the, uh, what I'm going to do is let, you know, lean back and then fold forward, let people decide what they want once they get to their mat, but they have to come in and go out with the mask. Hang forward here, breathe deep. Good, smooth, even breaths in and out of the nose. Good. 
does feel good that things are starting to come back. My friend sent me the registration for the Malibu Triathlon. <laughs> Yay, in September. If that's, I'm sure I'll race before September on some race. But let's just say if it was September, that would be almost two years since my last race because my last race was December of 2019 and then the pandemic hit I didn't do anything January last year February and then March last year everything got shut down clasp the hands back behind you interlace the fingertips stretch the shoulders Again, good, smooth, even breaths in and out of your nose. If your legs are feeling a bit um, looser, feel free to straighten them, but definitely breathe. Good. And then release the arms from there. We're going to do a little bit of a hip stretch so you can... Just straddle the mat if you want. I'm going to turn to the side this way because I know it's a little easier for you guys to see me if I do that. <clears throat> and then bend your right knee. So if you sink over, bend the right knee. Inner thigh stretch on the left. Right? And breathe. Good. And then switch legs. Same thing. Elizabeth, are you uh, aware of this whole cryptocurrency craze and NFTs? Do you know about NFTs? Have you heard about NFTs? No, NFT. Non, non-fungible token. <laughs> yeah, I that. <laughs> so did you see this guy, Beeple, this artist, just sold uh-huh. the first digital for $69 million? Unbelievable. Huh? <clears throat> Lengthen the upper body, twist up. Yeah. Pretty amazing, huh? The world is changing, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> just in case you haven't noticed. The right arm, top arm wraps around the body, lengthen up, twist and breathe. Yeah, our kids are going to have a very different adulthood than we did. That's for sure. <laughs> One more breath, and then switch it. Same thing. So sink into that hip first, then lengthen the upper body, and twist and turn. Good, and once you get there a bit, then take that arm back, lengthen up, twist and breathe. One more breath. Good. And then release it back to the center. Go ahead and step both feet forward. Abdomen strong. Slowly engage as you roll your way up. Take a nice big inhale. Lift the arms up. Fold all the way forward down as you exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale. Look forward. And then step back to plank pose as you exhale top of a push-up, hold it, and breathe. Can't believe it. it was 34 degrees at my house this morning. I literally was scraping uh, frost off my windshield because I could not drive. Where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. Okay, so you're okay with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Are you kidding? Right. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Lower halfway and push up. We'll do five of those. Lower halfway, push up. Lower halfway. Yeah, the only difference is push up. Two more. I'm usually not walking out in shorts <laughs> to go <laughs> to go scrape off the dust, uh, the frost. Good. Drop to the knees from there. Cat and cow tilts for the spine. 
as you inhale and exhale finding your spine here and your breathing inhale exhale inhale exhale one more inhale and exhale good then back to neutral lift the feet side to side good all right downward facing dog down dog take a moment bend the left leg press the right heel down get a nice big stretch back of the leg switch sides breathe Straighten both legs from there, come up on the toes, walk softly to the hands. Extend the spine as you inhale, look forward, fold as you exhale. Stretch all the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart, exhale. We'll do a few rounds from here, sun salutation A, arms up. Inhale, fold down, exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale, look forward. Step back as you exhale. Gonna lower all the way to the mat first one. So knees first, then to the chest. Gentle back bend, cobra, shoulders back, heart up. And then downward facing dog. Reverse and breathe. Fingers spread, palms flat, lifting the tailbone, breath smooth. Great, up on the toes again. Walk softly or hop forward. Extend that spine as you inhale, look forward. Fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale, arms up again, inhale. Two more there, fold down forward as you exhale. Keep it going, extend the spine as you inhale. And then step back or hop back as you exhale. Vinyasa, you can lower down. Easy inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, and then downward facing dog. Good, a few breaths. Good, up on the toes again, walk forward to the hands or jump. Extending that spine as you inhale, folding as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands together at the heart, exhale. One more round there, arms up, inhale. And then folding down forward as you exhale. Extend that spine as you inhale, step back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower down, upward. Facing dog, and then downward facing dog. Take the right leg up behind you from there. Hold it up and breathe. And since we're gonna do some standing balance poses today, we'll already drop right into a little balance pose here. So look at the hands, lean to your right, and come up on the fingertips on the left. Maybe take that hand off the floor, maybe take the hand behind the back, but breathe. Good, and then both hands down, shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, some core strength. Lift it back and up, and then forward knee to the left side, little twist and squeeze. Back and up, forward to the right, back and up, all the way forward. Stay here on the fingertips just about five times, five or seven times. Inhale, straighten the front leg, flex the foot. Exhale, bend the knee, drop the hips. Inhale, straighten the leg. 
Exhale, bend the knee, drop the hips. Inhale. Exhale. A few more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Turn the back foot. Warrior one. Come on up. Arms up, hips forward, bend that front leg and breathe. Spreading the toes on both feet. And this time, just turn the palms out. Cross the wrists for the moment. Bring the palms back together. Bring your head in front and then push the arms straight and together. Breathe. Should heat up the shoulders a little bit. Stretch the arms and shoulders a bit. Keep breathing. Sinking that front leg down. One more breath. And then release. Hands down. Let it go. Vinyasa or straight to down dog. So remember, you can take an easy vinyasa. I'm still modifying thanks to my shoulder. <laughs> and then. Um, or you could do a stronger vinyasa, but when you get back to down dog, take the left leg up, hold it up, breathe. Good, then look at your hands, come up on the fingertips, maybe take that hand off the floor, maybe take the hand behind the back and breathe. Good, and then both hands down. Shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, abdomen strong. Lift it back and up. Forward knee to your right side. Back and up. Forward up to the left. Back and up. All the way forward. Stay here on the fingers. Straighten the front leg, flex the foot. And bend the knee. Sink the hips down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. A couple more. Inhaling. Exhaling. And one more. Good. Turn the back foot. Warrior one. And did uh, when you got the vaccine, did they tell you, because you still don't know how long it lasts, right? Like how long your immunity lasts or your... Oh, I think forever, and then we just get boosters over time. It's like, is it going to be like a flu shot where you have to get it every year, or is that... I think it's I unknown, think right? Right. They think. Same thing with the hands. Right, it's mutating, right? Palms together, push up. Yeah. One more breath. And hands down, take the leg back. Vinyasa, lower down. Upward facing dog, cobra, and then downward facing dog. Breathe. Good, one more breath. And then up on the toes again, walk or hop. Forward, extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms. Lightly, I've been liking a little twist here, so right away, bring the palms together, hook your left elbow outside, my right knee. Lengthen the upper body as you twist and turn and breathe.
Lengthen the spine, twist up one more breath. Good. Back to chair, inhale. Switch sides, same thing. Lengthen up, twist and turn and breathe. Good, one more breath. Back to chair, inhale. Stand, hands together at the heart. Exhale, big full breath. Sun Citation B, we'll do three rounds, one at a time today. Back to chair pose, inhale. Fold, exhale. Halfway up, inhale, step back. Exhale, vinyasa, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right leg up first, bring it all the way forward. Warrior one, reach up. Hands down. Leg back. You can always skip the vinyasa or you can take the vinyasa and you have multiple variations there. Downward facing dog. Left side. Take it up. Bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up. Hands down. Leg back. Vinyasa lower. And downward facing dog. Pause and breathe. Good, up on the toes again. Walk or hop forward. Lengthen the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms, inhale. Stand, hands together at the heart, exhale. Big full breath. Back to chair, inhale. Fold down as you exhale. Extend the spine, inhale. Step back or hop back. Vinyasa, follow your breathing, exhaling, down, inhaling, up, exhale, down dog, right side, take the leg up, bring it forward, warrior one, reach up, hands down, leg back, vinyasa, lower, Left side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one, reach. Hands down, leg back, lower. Upward facing dog and then downward facing dog. Hold and breathe. Up on the toes again, walk or lightly hop forward. Extend as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms, inhale. Stand, hands together at the heart, exhale. Good, big full breath. And then one more round, same thing, back to chair, inhale. Fold down as you exhale. Extend the spine, inhale, step back, exhale. Vinyasa, lower down. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right side first, take the leg up and bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up, inhale. Hands down, leg back, vinyasa. Good. 
left side, take it up, and bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up. Hands down, leg back, lower. Inhale, and exhale. Downward facing dog, hold and breathe. Good, up on the toes again. Walk softly to the hands. Extend that spine as you inhale, look forward. Fold as you exhale, stretch. Chair pose again, inhale. One more, and then stand, hands together at the heart. Exhale, good, big full breath. Good, so standing balance poses. We'll start with tree. All right, we'll go from tree to arms up, and then we'll grab the big toe, take it forward, take it out to the side, back to the center, switch, arms up, and then warrior three, and then standing splits. Got it? <laughs> so <clears throat> do the best you can. I'll time us so to make sure that we're kind of even-ish on both sides. You do the best you can. Any variation that becomes a little too much you just go to the previous variation and make sure you can kind of breathe and, and hang in there. So starting on the left leg, I'm gonna start on my left. Ready, go, so tree pose first. Picking the leg up, the main thing with tree is you wanna make sure you're not putting this foot into the knee joint itself, but otherwise, if balance is tricky, you can even put that foot on your ankle, that would be fine, but pick at one point and gaze. Call that your drishti, right? So you're just kind of gazing at one point. Relax the shoulders. Find a good, smooth, even breath. And my knee needs to click a little bit. Uh, and then once you feel comfortable there, go ahead and take the arms up. Keep that smooth breath. Shoulders relaxed, breath smooth. Good, so standing poses help focus the mind, calm you down a little bit because you're so focused on staying still, hopefully. Left hand to the hip or you're wobbly like me. Uh, right hand grabs the big toe if you can. You can also grab the foot and then stand up and straighten that leg as far forward as you can. Doesn't have to straighten, so if you're tighter, you can just stay here, right? But breathe, whatever you decide. Whoa. My only request is that when you fall, you smile. <laughs> now out to the side from there, a few breaths. Again, notice my tight hamstrings, legs bent. Whoa, breathe. <laughs> Good, and then back to the center, and then reverse it. So when you reverse, you gotta reverse this. Here. You can grab the knee, that's usually the easiest, but if you can, possible, grab the outside of that foot. Drive the leg forward, stand tall and twist and turn back and breathe. Good. And then back to the front, lift that leg up. Arms up, breathe deeply. And one more inhale. And then warrior three, without touching if possible, come all the way forward to warrior three. You can have the arms out to the side or back or forward. Just a few breaths here. It's already been two minutes and 45 seconds. A few more breaths. Good, hands down, lift the back leg up. Last couple breaths. And if you want, really give a good pull and, and into that stretch here. One more breath, lift it. And then both feet down. Shake out, so that's about 310, 315, we'll just call it for round numbers. Shake out that leg. And then we're gonna roll back up. 
slowly abdomen strong rolling your way back up nice big inhale lift the arms hands together at the heart exhale good oh man my shoulder i've just had this like shoulder thing for i think it's just an overuse thing like maybe a little inflammation there just from doing so many sessions so sometimes it just throbs oh good i like that oh good opposite side same thing tree pose oh good yeah no i love it shoulders relaxed speaking of breath smooth timers on find your steadiness right find that connection tree pose oftentimes is just about allowing your body to find its natural balance and not necessarily forcing the situation so here take the arms up keep breathing there right hand to the hip left hand grabs a big toe or foot and then straighten forward first a few breaths good then out to the side from there so just go about three to five breaths in each position Staying focused, breathing deeply, leg bent or straight. Good, back to the center, reverse. And again, when you reverse outside of the knees, fine. See if you can find your twist. If possible, it's the outside of the foot. Good, keep breathing. Standing tall, breath smooth. Good, back to the center. Whoa, crash. Leg up, arms up, breathe. One more big, big inhale, lift it, <clears throat> and slowly, all the way forward, breathe. Breath smooth, a few more breaths, oh, whoa. <laughs> and then both hands down, lift the back leg up, just a few more breaths. Good, one more inhale, lift, and then both feet down. Very nice. Shake out the legs. We're about five seconds slower on that side, or faster. Go ahead now into Malasana, squat down. So feet about shoulder distance, and then squat down from here, breathe. So again, you could be on the toes, you can have the feet pointed out, or you can have the feet pointed straight. So it kind of depends on where you're at in your hips, knees, ankles. Uh, legs but just pause for a moment a couple breaths wherever you are and you can stay here if you want or you can throw in a little arm balance crow pose if you wanted to that'd be fine set the hands and move into crow otherwise stay in your squat so stay in malasana if you want or need to but otherwise breathe oh, just a few moments And then your choice, step back or hop back. And if you're still in the squat, fold forward, step back. Vinyasa or straight back to down dog. Good. 
And then take a moment here, bend the left leg, push that right heel down. Nice big stretch back of the leg. And switch sides. Straighten both legs again, come up on the toes, walk forward to the hands. Extend that spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Good, chair pose here, inhale. Stand, hands together at the heart, exhale. We're gonna move into a standing one-legged chair pose. So you're gonna stand on your left leg, hook your right ankle on top. We're gonna do two rounds. Second round can lead into an arm balance if you want, but not necessary. So either the same thing twice on each side, alternating sides. Start on the left, right ankle hooks on top of your left knee. Bring the palms together. Sit down into that stretch. Pull the hips back. Extend the upper body forward and breathe. Good, if you feel more comfortable, arms up. Good, then start to lower down, reach the arms forward, pull the tailbone back, breathe. and then slowly stand, switch sides, take a breath. So it's important to be aware of the energy as you move from the pose, out of the pose, right? And then you have this kind of big rush of because you're so focused and using so much effort and then when you come out of there, there's a release. So just pay attention to that, pay attention to that transition. Same thing, other leg, hook your ankle on top of the knee, flex the foot, bring the palms together and breathe. Feel that stretch in your left hip there, outer hip, and breathe, Paraformis a little bit. Good, arms up from there. Maybe lower, reach the arms forward, pull the tailbone back, a few more breaths. Good. And then slowly stand, <laughs> or not so slowly, but take a breath. And again, just feel the experience. So part of the yoga practice, increasing our awareness you now have this awareness, if you haven't thought about it before, of what it feels like to come out of that pose and just pay attention to the energy that moves through you. Okay, opposite side, and this time we'll offer up the arm balance if you want. Otherwise, same exact thing, just kind of refine the stretch, get a little bit more out of it. If you want, more advanced folks can go into the arm balance. So hook your right ankle on top of the left knee again, bring the palms together, sit down. Hold here. Stage one can hold that. Otherwise, stage two, stage three. And then if you wanted the arm balance, make sure that you come down. Your triceps essentially become the shelf for the pose. Flex the foot, lift the back leg. <laughs> Right, exactly, or hold the one prior, and then come on back up, release, take a nice deep breath. So as you get used to just being aware of what happens when you release the pose, increases that awareness, 
same thing happens in life, right? You don't have to necessarily react and go, oh my God, oh, oh, ah, that was so, right? You can just kind of breathe through the experience and feel it just like in life when the shit hits the fan or there's a pandemic, you can still breathe and kind of move and understand that this might be a little different. But like one of my first teachers used to say, this too I can include. <laughs> when she didn't want, when there was resistance, right? Instead of like pushing it away, it was more like, how can I open up and increase my awareness, my acceptance? Arms up and then fold and reach and pull back and breathe. And if you want the arm balance, go ahead and come down. Set those hands, hook that foot, lift up. Good. And then slowly come on up. Hmm. Deep breath. Should feel good, right? Should feel good to feel alive as you move through these things. Vinyasa, arms up when you're ready. Nice big inhale. Folding down forward as you exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale. Step back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower down. Upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog. Good, pause and breathe. So one more standing sequence, and we worked on this on Wednesday, the bird of paradise. Go ahead and take the right leg up, bring it forward. There will be options. Turn the back foot flat, warrior one, and then warrior two. So we're gonna take this right into the wrap and then standing, because I wanna do the standing pose and then go back. So it's a whole sort of sequence. If the sequence becomes too advanced at any given point, what you can do is just head to tree pose and I'll let you know when. But for the moment, warrior two, shoulders relax, gazing forward, breathing deep. Take the back arm, wrap it around your back toward the front. And then bring the forearm down to the thigh first. Stage one, lengthen the upper body, twist and turn up. If you feel more comfortable, right hand to the floor. Stage two, breathe. So you can stay there or wrap the arms. You can go deeper, reach around, grab the fingertips. And stage three, hold. Not long. Good, then either way, you're gonna look down, start to inch that back foot forward, step it all the way to the front. Now at this point, you're gonna to move to tree pose or you're gonna stand up on that left leg into what's called bird of paradise. From here, work that top leg straight and breathe. Good, one more breath. Now, the recovery. So if you're in tree, step down and then step back. So, and then back to warrior two, come on up. And then let it go. Hands down, take the leg back. And vinyasa. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. So just one more like that and then we'll shift gears out of the standing poses. Left leg, take it up and bring it forward. Turn the back foot, warrior one. And then warrior two. You can tell, or hopefully you can tell how by doing the first couple sequences, it sort of leads you into a little bit more stable, standing, balanced pose when you get to this pose. From here, right arm uh, around the back to the front, forearm to the thigh first, engage the abdomen, tuck the tailbone, lean up. So you kind of all have that same experience here, softening the shoulder, tucking the tailbone, stretching the hip, Breathing. Good, then looking down, left hand to the floor. Lengthen up, twist up, breathe. Good, 
good. Then wrap the arms. Go ahead and, uh, well, let's hold here for a few breaths. Sorry, lengthen up, twist up, get a little strengthening here. Good, now look down, scoot the back foot a little bit closer. Right hand, stay, right leg stays down. And again, you're either in tree or you're coming up to your bird of paradise pose. And so much going on, standing leg straight, upper body straight, top leg if you can straighten, shoulders are stretching, breath is smooth, gaze is steady or none of that's happening and you're falling all over the place. <laughs> Two more breaths. Ah, that's Elizabeth's fault. I totally blame her for that. I was totally leaning on her. When she came out of the pose, that was it for me. All right, come on down. <laughs> and then uh, step back, come back up to warrior two. Really, it's just because I don't like to take responsibility. Hands down, take the leg back. Vinyasa. Actually, let's go all the way to the mat. So all the way down to the mat. Pause for a moment. You can shake the hips a little side to side. Just two, uh, kind of a warm up and then one bigger back bend right from here. So interlace the fingers back behind you. Draw the shoulders back and down. Lift the upper body up first. Chin sort of down. You can kind of look down maybe a few inches in front, but don't. Don't lift the head. So extend the back of the neck and then arms off the tailbone if it's okay. Legs up and breathe. And one more breath. Good, now release the arms, bring them forward and then lift up a little higher. One more inhale. And release, turn the head to one side, take a few breaths. You could shake the hips if you wanna, a little bit side to side, should feel pretty good. And do you know what counter strain work is? Counter strain? Counter strain. No? That's, I met a guy, uh, I actually had a session with a guy, I was talking about it. Um, Last week, it's really good stuff, actually. Now, Dhanurasana or bow pose, if you can. If not, you do the same thing you did a moment ago, but if possible, grab the ankles or feet, excuse me, and then press back, lift up, breathe. Good, one more breath. Good. Uh, child's pose. Child's pose. Pause in child's pose. Take a few moments. From here uh, to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, we're gonna go straight to pigeon. We already did our little back bend. So straight to pigeon pose, right leg forward. Step it, we'll spend a, a minute or two here. Yeah, I was explaining it on, um, on Wednesday, but basically this guy is kind of like a physical therapist. He was a physical therapist for years and then learned this counter strain modality essentially. And so the, the easiest way is to think about it is like right now we're sort of pushing, right? We're kind of like pushing into the stretch. I mean, gravity or, or not. But the way it, he works with you is essentially he wants your body flaccid, so just completely resting. And then you gently kind of pull away. So for instance, if it was my leg, he would pull the femur bone away from the lower part of the leg and then allow the ligaments and tendons and bones to sort of refine their place. 
It was pretty amazing. I mean, I, I did a session a while ago. I, um, I'm going to go back to him. I have an appointment uh, in April. Six months. <laughs> it's like it takes, uh, literally, I think it was October. And they said, our soonest appointment is in April. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, he actually, you know, his office is in um, the West Hills Hospital. And there's like, you know, so it's like in a hospital setting. So it's just a regular physical therapy office. And, um, but yeah, so it's, he, he does, I got to him thanks to my friend who's a cyclist, who's an athlete. And he happened to find him. I don't know how he found him. But he has, you know, regular people who get referred to him through hospital stuff. So when I, wa when I was in, went into the office, there was... You know, mostly older people with physical ailments. Um, but yeah, this guy's pretty incredible. I just think my shoulder thing, um, I mean, you may have the solution, which I hope, but um, I just think it's a little bit overuse, mm -hmm. sort of slowly started to come on, and I was like, Huh, I wonder if that's because I'm doing so many push-ups. <laughs> right. um, but then I started to modify, and then it would feel you know, like it was healing. So I felt like, all right, it's not. But then it would throb sometimes. If, you know. And it's funny because when it warms up and I start working, I'm like, ah, it feels good. I can, like, but that was just like that same kind of thing. It was just like my Achilles, where if it would warm up, I'd feel like, oh, I can go. But the truth is that's not how you should look at it. With the Achilles, you have to pay attention to how it feels as soon as you wake up in the morning. Mm. And it was always a little bit tender back then, not anymore, but it was always a little tender in the morning. And I just figured, ah, it's just a little tender, I'll just warm up and it'll be okay. But actually you're damaging it further mm -hmm. if you do that. Let's change size there, everyone. Switch legs. Um, so for those of you out there in streamland, tomorrow, today's Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. So if you're watching this live or today, later, recorded. Um, so Saturday is, is members. We do the Zoom session, and uh, I'll be doing that from my backyard with some music and uh, a little bit more interaction. So if you're not a member and you wanted to become one, you can go to ConsciousEndurance.com. There's a few different ways that you can become a monthly member. Then you get the Zoom link. We do a monthly workshop in there, a little bit more coaching and interaction and, uh, and music during class. Um, so there's that. Otherwise, I'll be back streaming again on, uh, on Monday. So good, smooth, even breaths, of course, if, if there's any time that you feel like you need um, to modify, you definitely have to modify. Make sure that you make any adjustments that you need. Um, a little bit of movement one way or another can help release any tension or strain or um, tightness sometimes. Good. Last few breaths on this side. legs forward, shake them out for a moment, seated forward bend, shake out the legs, uh, reach the arms up, and fold forward, stretch.
Good, you can stay there, or you can roll back, take the legs up and over the head for plow pose. If you did go back to plow, support the back, take the legs up to shoulder stand. Just take a few moments here, breathe. Legs wide from there, flex the feet. Bend the knees, soles of the feet together from there. And then legs up and down over the head slowly. Oh, come on down. And then we'll take a final twist. Pull the right knee in, give it a good squeeze. Roll to the left side, twist. Good. And then switch sides, same thing. back to the center. Shavasana, final rest. Feet flop open, arms down by the side. Take a nice big, big cleansing breath. Deep inhale. And exhale. Totally, totally relax. Okay, go ahead and bring the left hand to the heart center, right hand to the belly, and just take a nice deep breath. And then slowly bend the knees, roll to your right side. Take a moment there. And then up to a seated position, comfortable seat. Sitting up nice and tall, palms up, eyes closed, a few breaths.
and so much of it is about developing that sense of peace and calmness and tranquility and connectedness to yourself, right? To that deeper place inside that's always calm, always relaxed, always secure, always stable. So that regardless of what happens, we know that when we get knocked off our rocker that we can come back, we have a place to come back to. And bring the palms together at the heart. Just take a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for every breath. Namaste. Well done. Thank you for showing up, a real human being. <laughs> Thank you guys for showing up, real human beings on the other side of this, this ether. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of each other, you guys. And uh, I'll see you maybe tomorrow in uh, Zoom or maybe back.